There are deer populations in Florida, and Jake, you're up next. Your question for our panel, please. Thank you so much for taking my call. Okay, Jake. Uh, we have been feeding about 36,000 pounds of shelled corn per year on 300 acres, and uh, we have about seven feed plots that we, that we hunt. Um, I'm very curious about what would be the nutritional value uh, above corn, if there is any, and uh, if it would be a supplement or would both be best. Larry, I guess that's your nutrition yes. area. Um, yes, um, corn has a couple of benefits uh, in, in a deer feeding program. Number one, it's readily consumed by deer, uh, and so it's, it's something that, that uh, is e and it's generally relatively inexpensive. Uh, but what you need to remember is corn is really not a complete supplement for deer. It's too low in protein. Uh, a deer's antler, a hardened deer's antler like this, is 22% calcium. Corn is 0.002% calcium. And so corn really supplies nothing for antler development with exception of some calories. And so what, ha what it is is corn will make deer fat like we used to fatten cattle and fatten hogs, mm -hmm. but corn does not do a very good job of growing antlers. It's too low in protein, too low in, in a lot of the minerals, and too low in some of the real critical trace minerals that are needed for antler development. Well, he's feeding a lot of corn, yeah, so what, what would he do in addition then? He, he needs to, if you're going to feed corn, I would feed it during uh, the time of the year when deer are not growing antlers, uh, during, the, uh, during the rut, uh, or during the time after antlers, after antlers are completed growing. But prior to that, he needs to feed something that's high in protein, like our antler max deer 20, and high in some of the real critical minerals. And being from Florida, he should uh, pick up on this, because Florida, in any mineral you can name, Florida is low in it. And so that's one thing that will really help him, is getting a balanced mineral package into the deer on his property in Florida. All right, so Florida does deserve some different there, attention. Very different, <laughs> different attention, and that's one thing that makes our antler max deer chow different than anybody else that I'm aware of. We regionally formulate our deer feed, deer feed with respect regionally. to men regionally. Okay. So the feed that he buys in Florida is different with respect to the minerals in it than the feed somebody buys in Texas or Wyoming. Okay.